开始读吧。九鸟之鸟蛋。On the 1st of June 2014, World Vision Singapore brought a team of child sponsors to China's Yongsheng Area Development Program to experience firsthand what it was like on the other end of the world. Upon landing, we were greeted with the natural mountainous beauty of Lijiang and were hurled into the rustic charms the city boasts. Along the streets of Lijiang's ancient city. The locals were selling many beautiful handicrafts and Yunnan music, which seemed to harness the rich cultural heritage of China. The 21st century saw the awakening of Asia's sleeping dragon, and this booming economic powerhouse is on an upward trajectory. Sprouting skyscrapers along the bound of Shanghai and glamorous malls of Beijing further affirm China's growing affluence. Yet, its rocketing Gini coefficient continues to neglect its countrymen who have tirelessly toiled over the soils of a rapidly developing nation. <laughs> The Yongsheng ADP comprises the township of Pianjiao, Songping, and Renhe in the Yongsheng County within Yunnan Province. Its demographic profile consists of both Han Chinese and 23 minority tribes such as the Zhuang, Hui, Pumi, and Nasi. With the support and care of child sponsors from Singapore, World Vision aims to help the children and families attain self-reliance by September 2018. 我这次呢，就今天上午去的这个村委会，从这个村委会一个村委会，还有一个的话，今天我们下午我们去的那个学校，是两个村委会是你们资助的两个两个点，嗯，所以就在这两个村委会里面。所以今年的话，就是说去年是我们是在。World Vision Singapore has carried out many beneficial projects, which has enhanced the quality of life for people from over 15 villages. That is more than a population of 400,000. Where pastoral greens permeate the landscape, an eager, spirited lady approached us, gesturing excitedly about the biogas fuel installed at her house. You're how old? You're eight. 啊、oh, ，你叫什么名字？我李凤芝。啊、uh, ，你在这里做什么的？我就这做一下，啊、uh, ，盘弄一下。啊、uh, ，你这里有家人吗？就家就我了。这是你家？就就我家了。啊，这我是从这山这长的，而且路要这路哎，三八狗羊哪里长哪路。<笑>你的喜好是什么？啊、uh? ，你最喜欢做什么？哎、uh, ，我听不懂你这个说哪里。啊、uh, um, ，嗯。他说：“你平时最喜欢做哪样？”平时，哎，我的理想是大了，我来你有所现。<笑>所以说，整这些东西我多爱。有时候打招呼我好喜欢。我<笑><笑> evidently this is no sky on 57 restaurant at Marina Bay Sands. Yet the biogas fuel has made things a lot more convenient for the village folks. For now, they have a reliable source of energy, especially when winter comes knocking on the doors. It's not a lot, and one can smell animal dung from here. But the old lady was so proud of this humble lot. World Vision started working in Yongsheng in response to an earthquake that struck the region in 1996. Immediate disaster relief work was carried out to help inhabitants rebuild their homes. After the completion of relief work in 1997, Road Vision implemented a development program in the Pianjiao Township. However, the program was expanded in 2007 and 2009 to include the Songping and Renhe Township. Both areas are also in dire need of help. So、uh, these two office officers officers here. One is a Xiehui Ban Gongsi. Xiehui Ban Gongsi is when、uh, when World Vision、uh, finish their all their program right they, when they retreat. Right, this office will take over. This is a local NGO.、Oh. Oh. But at the moment, the people are not inside here because I want to be close to them to you know、uh, give、uh, train them to have this ability. 
Currently, there are 21,000 villages receiving help from World Vision. The overall goal of the Yongsheng ADP is to enhance livelihood security at the household level and to gain environmental protection through various integrated development interventions so that the communities can enjoy a stable life. What was the most um, memorable thing that you have been through like in this ADP, this journey? Um, see the differences between Singapore and Yongsun. So the fortunate things of the children who are in Singapore is very different than Yongsun. Yongsun, oh. the children have very little things. So they, if they happen to be in Singapore, they will be amazed at you know, how many things that they miss out. Okay, and uh, the food. Uh, uh, the, uh, the daily use things, they are not like this. As we doused ourselves in dollops of sunblock, down bottles of fresh mineral water, the locals had little choice but to submit to the monstrous 42 degrees Celsius. On a brighter note, solar-powered energy has been channeled to various households in rural Yongsheng. Mr. Yang had requested one for his aging foster parents so that they now receive warm water on chilly days. This is no astrophysics, but effective engagement of science and technology to improve the lives of others. In addition, Mr. Young no longer has to strain his back collecting cold, unfiltered well water on a daily basis. Through the grapevine, a morose disposition plagues the community. The weather is far too dry and the unrelenting heat only promises a less than satisfactory yield. We weren't even able to get a taste of the harvesting procedure. The friendly villagers offered us clusters of grapes, but while we appreciated their goodwill, unripe grapes remain to be an acquired taste. Besides the aforementioned, we had a short-lived experience as construction workers. World Vision Singapore had built a bridge linking two mountains as per the villagers request. And this was us, struggling to get some solid groundwork done. And over here at Sintian Primary School, the children performed a cover of J. Cho's Tsinghua Tzu as a show of welcome.
Sure, sir. Ask a child whether he or she enjoys studying. The answer is more likely to be a resident yes. A 10-year-old was more than willing to walk five hours from home to school simply because of the opportunities available in the institution. So recently, we changed sponsored kids because the one that we have um, sponsored for I don't know how long, mm. he went to work and then although World Vision really tried to persuade him, he still wanted to be persistent and the parents allow him. So World Vision cannot sponsor him anymore, so we changed to another one. And here's a shoebox gift from a child sponsor to seven-year-old Yang Jianmin. Contrary to popular belief, meeting a sponsored child is no Hollywood drama scene. There are no loud exclamations or tears, just friendly greetings laced with an awkward atmosphere. Nonetheless, both sponsored child and family were evidently pleased to see each other for the very first time. I like all the cute kids, like although they are easily contented, although they do not have the best of things, they are very happy. A lot of um, projects, how World Vision helps the villagers. Um, I think what impacts me most is the biogas project and the solar power project because um, it shows how we can be environmentally friendly even while um, helping people and um, it's a good way for them to recycle the waste materials that they already have. So yeah, those are the two projects that impacted me. Okay, what about, um, what else do you think World Vision can contribute to this community in Yongsheng? I think that um, there's still a lot of needs we saw in the community. So definitely if we could find a way how to help them with their lack of water supply, that would be good. We saw some projects on how um, they build irrigation canals. So that's good, or how they provide water, they pipe in the water to the schools. Yeah, but I think more can be done in the area of like, yeah, lack of water. Could you use a word to sum up the entire experience? Meaningful. Thank you. We bought 720 towels for three schools in Yongsheng County, and these faces filled with gratitude and hope are sure to linger on in the memories of child sponsors.